Hey guys, welcome to another video and yes, we are talking about Rafael or Rafael N or Mi 90 Pro or the K20 Pro. Now, after the Poco Phone F1, this is the most loved device on this channel, has been my daily driver for one year and three months before the iPhone 11 took over the duties. But nonetheless, I still adore and love this device a lot. It is getting a lot of custom ROM support and a few months back, like just one month back, you saw that this got Oxygen OS. 11 that's a beta rom we did not have finger on display or fingerprint working fine now that team evelyn have fixed it we are going to do an install video and have a first impression sort of a thing and then i'm going to game on it that will be another video so a lot of exciting stuff for this device as well and yes we have a corvus install and a corvus preview and gaming video coming as well for the k20 pro so if you have this device Please subscribe and share it with all the people, all the communities you know who follow the K20 Pro. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community. So you can join us there and help us get a thousand subscribers. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops, my name is Kalash, let's get going. Alright, so in today's video we are installing Oxygen OS 11 with a fingerprint sensor and all the other goodies which were already there. So first things first, we are on pixel experience. So that is a discussion for another day, but we will have a look at the files that we need. So I've copied them to the phone's internal storage. We will need the VB Meta IMG. You will need a special version of Orange Fox, Oxygen OS vendor, system, and the FOD fix, of course. Now I'll show you the sequence. That is why I'm here. But before we get into all of that, a couple of disclaimers. Make sure your battery is more than 50%. Make sure you've removed all Google accounts and all the accounts. Make sure you have removed the lock screen, password, fingerprint, everything, no matter which ROM you are on. Once you're done with all of that, make sure that you've backed up all the information on your phone so that you don't lose any data because we will be doing a format data irrespective of your phone is encrypted or decrypted. Now in an ideal situation, I would recommend if you're decrypted, you don't need to format data, but you know, I would do it anyways, just to make sure we have the best experience. Now, without further ado, let's get into the install process. So first thing that we will do is we will boot into the custom recovery of our choice. So for that, press and hold volume up and power while the phone boots up. The moment you have the Redmi logo, Please wait for it to boot up into the recovery. We are in TWRP 3.5.1. So as you can see over here, I am encrypted, which means I will have to go ahead and format data. But nonetheless, I would recommend you format data anyways. All right, so we are in TWRP right now and let's go ahead and see what we need to do next, okay? So first we will go to install, all right? And we will select Orange Fox Raphael Stable. This is the Orange Fox version that we are looking to use. It will real quick install and reboot itself into Orange Fox Recovery. Let's wait for it to do that. Okay. You can see the bright Orange Fox logo over here. Swipe to allow modifications. Tick mark. Right. Now go to wipe. Dalvik cache system vendor data. We won't wipe internal storage because that's where our files are. And once we are done installing, we will be doing a format data which will wipe internal storage very, very clear as well. Now it's time to flash. So go to the file icon over here. And the first thing that we will flash is the VB Meta IMG. So select this and select the VB Meta image and swipe to flash. The flash is done with the main screen. Now first we will install the system and add to queue and then vendor okay so you need to wait for these two files to be flashed these are relatively big files they will take around one to two minutes so please be patient while that happens all right so as you can see both the files have been flashed so you just need to go through the setup screen again to make sure everything is flashed correctly we don't have any errors so go to the main screen again and now we will flash the new moon FOD fix. So select this and flash. Okay. Now everything has been flashed. So we will go to the bin icon over here. 
click on format data. Now remember this will wipe everything, so please be careful. Type in yes and select the tick mark. Okay, now reboot system. The first boot will take anywhere between three to five minutes. So please be patient. This is a custom ROM installation and such things do take time. Patience is the virtue. Also, you would have noticed that I did not flash DFE, that is disable force encryption. Now the reason that I've done is because this specific build has that pre-built inside. So you, need, you don't need to flash DFE separately. Let's wait for this first boot to complete and then we will quickly have a look at the ROM. We will also see how good or bad the FOD is working before we actually go ahead and make a gaming review or a complete review as to you can use this as a daily driver or not. So let's wait for it to complete the boot. All right, so as you can see, we are on the home screen. Let's go to settings over here and let's go to about. It says it's a OnePlus 8 with a 90 hertz display, which is great. Android version 11, this is the kernel version. It's a perf kernel. This is the new moon build, everything fine and dandy over here, right? Now, as you can see, it is working smooth as butter. That is what I like about Oxygen OS. And that is the reason I have been intrigued towards devices with Oxygen OS since day one. All right, so we have the dark mode enabled now. First thing that we would like to check over here is we will go to security and lock screen and go to fingerprint, say fingerprint plus pattern. Next. Okay, confirm. Done. Next, now it's asking you to add the fingerprint. So you won't see anything over here and I don't think if you can see here, yeah, that's what, that's where you need to tap. So keep adding, you won't see any progress over here, but it is getting added, so. So keep adding. Okay, then it will give you the edge input instructions. Okay, as you can see, it says fingerprint added. Now, what is recommended over here is you use a light background, right? Because as you can see, the brightness is low right now. So if I say, go ahead and try to unlock the device. As you can see, it works. So if you don't do much, you know, even then it will work just fine. Now, as you can see over here, my brightness, auto brightness is disabled and let me turn it all the way down. Okay. And if you go ahead and press the lock button, you can see this green icon here. All right. So it puts the brightness all the way high for a few seconds, which I'm okay with because I don't spend a lot of time in, uh, you know, extreme darkness or very, very dark areas wherein the all of a sudden flash would sort of make you feel uncomfortable, right? We also have face unlock in this particular build. So if you go ahead and add face unlock, as you can see over here, it says face not detected. It's detecting my face now. Yeah, there you go. So if you're someone who is not comfortable with the way the fingerprint is working, well, as you can see over here, bam, it automatically unlocks and it unlocks real quick. So, you know, pretty neat. The initial impressions are pretty great. You don't really have any problems. So I will install PUBG on this. I will make a gaming review about it. But let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this video in which we covered the installation process of Oxygen OS 11 beta for the K20 Pro, which is based on the OnePlus 8. And until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.